Thank you very much, Carol. It's 620 now, and it can be a scary thing for anyone to go through. We're talking about heart failure. This morning, we're going to ask a specialist. We'll talk about some of the signs of heart failure, as well as some of the treatment options available with Dr. D. Banerjee, Advanced Heart Failure Director at the Queen's Medical Center. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Now, first off, what is heart failure, and what are, and how do people get it? Well, as you said, it's a scary diagnosis, but there are a lot of treatment options that we'll discuss. The heart is a pump, and it basically pumps blood to the rest of the body. So there are a number of things that can happen that can diminish the pump function. You could have a blockage in an artery. Mm -hmm. You could have a problem with one of the valves in the heart. Um, and many of the causes of heart failure are common conditions that Hawaiians have, like high blood pressure, um, heart attacks, as we mentioned, and diabetes. But one thing that people don't realize is that the heart also receives blood from the rest of the body. Okay. So there's something called diastolic or heart failure, a problem with relaxation of the heart, right? We always tell people to relax. Yes, right. And so that's important for the heart too. And the same causes that cause uh, the pump problem with the heart, high blood pressure and diabetes, are sim can also cause problems with relaxation of the heart. Interesting. Now, what are some of the signs of heart failure? So that's really important because Unfortunately, many of the signs of heart failure are nonspecific. You could feel tired with heart failure, but you could feel tired at the end of a workday. That's why it's really important to have a healthcare provider that works closely with you. But what I tell my patients is look for sudden weight gain, not, you know, weight gain over a few months after going to zippies, right? Uh, uh, shortness of breath when doing regular activity or swelling in your legs. Now, what are some of the treatment options available? So this is where there's a lot of optimism. There are a lot of new treatment options that we're bringing to Queens that will help patients with heart failure. But sometimes the simplest things are best. So I tell the first thing I tell patients when they come to my clinic is to reduce the amount of salt in their diet. It's hard, especially with how good Hawaiian food is. But uh, I came from California, and food is pretty good there too. The patients that do the best are the ones that can cut salt out of their diet. It helps the medications work better, and they feel better. Next, we do have exercise. You know, I tell every patient to walk at least 30 minutes a day. Uh, it doesn't matter if they do it all at once. They can do 10 in the morning, 10 in the afternoon, 10 in the evening. Once they've gotten through the lifestyle changes that are important for heart failure, then we talk about medications. So there are medications called beta blockers, ACE inhibitors, and there's new medications out there actually that prolong patients' lives and make them feel better. But sometimes medications don't work, or they only delay the progression of the heart problem. Then we think about more invasive therapies. If an artery is blocked, then we think about opening that artery, and we have specialists at Queens that can do that. There's a new program coming to Queens called the MitraClip program that can treat a valve problem. If there's a leaky valve, rather than opening up the chest to, to treat that condition, we can do it through a catheter in your groin and close it that way. Um, there are at Stanford, I was the medical director of the left ventricular assist device program, which is a program that puts pumps in people's hearts. Okay. And so there were actually patients from Hawaii mm -hmm. that would go get heart pumps and heart transplants. We would like to bring those special, specialty care here to Hawaii so Hawaiians can get the best world-class care for their heart in Hawaii. Now, to learn more about the new developments in heart failure, you can join Dr. Banerjee for the Queen's free speaking of health lecture called Advanced Heart Failure, New Treatments and Choices. That's happening this Wednesday, July 31st from 6 to 7 p.m. at the Queen's Medical Center Punch Bowl. Now, to register, you can call 691-7117 or go to queens.org and click on Attend the Class. Dr. Queens is very lucky to have you. Thank you very much for the useful information. Thank you for having me. All right.